I don't even know what to say. Uh, now it's vandalized. Now having to deal with thinking about breaking even. That was our biggest worry that we need to break even. Now we are definitely running on a loss. Because we have to rewire the whole house have to do the plumbing of the whole house again. Uh, yeah man. Today it's not your normal invest like a pro. Cheers. Invest like a pro with no, no wealth. wealth. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, what's happening over there? Yes, that is a stove. What's happening today is that we're getting a COC, which is a certificate of compliance when it comes to electrical. So when it comes to selling your property, you always need to make sure that you have that certificate or else the transaction will not go through. Man, this was a project that we really needed to dig deep in terms of mental strength. We needed to dig deep in terms of our pockets. So at the end of the day, man, it's all about knowing how to position yourself, number one, as a property investor, and number two, having the mental and emotional capacity mm -hmm. to handle whatever that's going on. I mean, looking at what happened in this whole project, I mean, I'm guaranteed that if I didn't have a partner like Neo, I don't know how I would have actually went through because now there were a lot of ups and there were a lot of downs. And now we there are more up downs. Now. There were more downs. There were more downs than ups. Yeah. So it was more of <laughs> up. So guys, we finally sold the property, and we're really excited. It's it's at that stage whereby the buyer is going to be collecting the the keys, right? And just to take you back throughout the journey, as Lebu did speak about the highs and lows. This property, when it came to fixing, we did actually start our vlogs, and we included you guys in our journey. We fixed this property really quickly. Yeah. It took less than two months. It it looked like this. I'm hoping that we're gonna find footage. But yes, this is how it looked. Within two months, it was renovated. People were actually shocked that this is still that same peach house. So a lot of work was put in there. And then just as we were about to sell it, personally, I was really excited because this would have been a record level. Because I remember what happened is that we started fixing before the property was even converted in our names. Yeah. But that was risky though. That was risky. If you want to understand why it was risky, make sure that you buy a ticket to our non wealth workshops. Then you'll understand the risk element of it. But anyways, as I was saying that, it was very risky. 
but we were excited that we finished in record time mm. and then now came the selling part let me please take us through in terms of what happened so the property got vandalized man as you can see right now the property got vandalized and we were now forced to check that how do we actually get to fix this property now we have two options first option is that you sell it as is when you sell it as is you're going to basically start from scratch right so it means that all of your monies that you had actually invested are now gone yeah. so what was going to happen is that we were going to sell it as a distressed property yeah so you selling it as a distressed property if you can see we listed it for for six hundred and fifty thousand, right <clears throat> so what was going to happen is that if we didn't fix that means it was going to be sold as a distressed property so there was no ways that the new buyer was going to buy it at 650. we called about we called three estate agents i remember this three estate agents and the advice that we were getting was that guys let's make our loss and let's walk mm. so what was going to happen is that they were advising us to sell it at about three hundred thousand. so let me tell us about that was the first option tell us about the second one. second option is that you fix but even through your fixing now we need to understand that the money that we are using to fix we're not going to be getting it back mm. we are only going to be getting the money that we initially invested in the property now the question was that would you rather start with zero or would you rather start with the money that you had actually put in to that particular uh, property now for us it was a tough one because now at the time we had actually used all of our funds into this property now this property our money is there yeah right our money is there but now the problem is that how do we recoup the money and get it back so we decided that we're going to be fixing the property and now it's at its normal state now we got someone to actually buy it so just just to actually even take you guys back right before it was even vandalized to show you that when we say that it was an emo emotional roller coaster it was really bad when we discovered the property was vandalized was when we came with someone who wanted to buy the property. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine you've got someone who wants to buy the property and all of a sudden now you get surprised that, hey, can't do what happened here. So that's what happened. And we were really down and out, man. I remember last year there was a point in time whereby we wanted to give up, man. That's how terrible it was. But... But, but because of the investors and the circle that we've created, that the people that we're mentoring, they were like, gents, you can't, you can't give up. up. If, it, if you guys give up, where does that leave us? Yeah. And that's, that's, that's how God works, is that sometimes you, we might think that we're hosting workshops and we're creating relationships with all of you. And we're not really looking at it in a sense whereby that's where you also get motivation so that kept us going i'd like to say shout out to everybody who's been in our circle saying that gents don't give up yeah. don't give up so so then we didn't give up and at this point in time right now we are at the finish line let me remember that when we posted the content right i remember when we posted the content that we finished um i think we got even going to post the the comments there there's a vlog whereby we were finished fixing and everybody was like chance we knew that you'd do it we know as property investors that that's only the beginning yeah even even on the comments bro on the comments when p when the property was vandalized people were saying that guys we know that you're going to be bouncing back guys that that really does mean a lot to us man thank you to everybody that was actually rooting for us man. Right. let's go into the next deal so see how do we actually invest like pros man before we even go to the next deal for us guys what we want to do is that we've been working really hard super hard in a state whereby we haven't celebrated ourselves man. this this is a celebration that i want to take so myself and Lebo, we are going out all right Lebo, we need to go out bro yeah, I'm, ta to. I'm taking my brother out my brother i'm taking you out man. i'm, I'm taking, taking out. you out bro. i'm taking my brother out we are for sure i mean hopefully we'll be we'll post the, the how the dinner went a dinner for celebration guys we've worked hard and this is a point in time whereby we need to celebrate our wins and for the fact that we didn't give up this is something to really hold on to because i know for sure that a lot of people will be inspired a lot of people will gain so much momentum from this and that's what we're all about we are all about giving quality content so if you want to reach out to us hit us up at em hit us up in our email at info at nonwealth.co.za or if you want to see us live this year we are going to different provinces cape town we're coming through durban we're coming through 
Pretoria, we're coming through Val, we're coming through Rustenburg, we're coming through, and then Midland, of course, we'll be hosting about two workshops there. So if you want to see us and our team live in action, make sure that you do buy your ticket and you see us in action. Invest like a pro with no one. Sold to the highest bidder. Let's work, bro. On to the next clip. Looking forward to document it again. Like this time, hope we have a better luck. There goes the train.